I may not be a scientist, but since I'm on YouTube, I'm going to do my very best to act like one, all in an attempt to destroy these blocks of wood and determine how strong ceramic coatings really are. We'll start by applying a base coat finish to each of these blocks of walnut using the manufacturer's recommended application instructions. Two blocks will get Black Forest Wood Company Monaco Furniture Oil. The other two will get a coat of Rubio Monaco Pure. Now there are times when I'll add a second coat of these Monaco type finishes to Walnut, but since they're both advertised as a Monaco finish, we'll only be applying one coat for this experiment. One quick note, these blocks are all from the same slab of Walnut, you know, in the name of keeping things scientific. Next, we'll apply some wood ceramics. Today we're using the Black Forest Wood Company Diamond Base Coat Ceramic along with their top coat. We'll apply these using the manufacturer's recommended application instructions to one of the blocks with the Black Forest Furniture Oil and one of the blocks with the Rubio Monaco. The other two blocks won't be getting any ceramic coating so we can test how well each of these finishes stand up on their own. By the way, I'll leave a link for you down below so you can watch a detailed video on how to apply the Black Forest furniture oil and ceramic finish. But first, let's continue with this experiment. Now, I've given these blocks over two weeks to cure, and now it's the time to abuse these blocks of wood and determine just how durable these finishes really are. We'll add some water, moonshine, ketchup. You'll have to stick around to see what else we have in store. And let me know in the comments down below what your prediction is. Which finish is going to hold up the best? Or just give me a thumbs up if you think we'll find a way to destroy these blocks of wood no matter what. Alright, let's have some fun. You know, in the name of science. We'll leave cold glasses of ice water on these blocks and see if it leaves a ring after we wipe everything down. Alright, these glasses have been sitting for well over an hour. And we're going to test and see if we can get these rings off. And you can see where that is going to take some time to dry out. And with the ceramic, it did leave a mark so far, but I think that's gonna dry out. It really doesn't feel damp anymore. This one, without the oil, still feels a little bit damp. I think that's gonna take more time to dry out. Rubio only, you know, that's dry. I do still see a mark. We'll see if that dries out or not. Um, but it does still feel a little bit wet. And then Rubio with the ceramic coating. There is a slight mark there, but overall it really does feel a lot drier. And you can really see how that ceramic coating really helps keep the water from penetrating over the pieces that only have an oil finish. Okay, enough with the easy stuff. Let's get right into this. To do this, I'm gonna add each one of these ingredients to the top of our board. We'll wipe these down and we'll see if there's any marks left over when we do this. Starting out at number one is some Q39 barbecue sauce. We'll also add some Heinz ketchup to the mix, some gray Poupon mustard, flaming hot Mountain Dew. The only reason I have this is because we got this and we couldn't even give it away. And we'll use some lemon juice to add a little acidity to our mixture here. And last but not least, some caramel moonshine. Would this really be a test if we didn't add some moonshine? I don't think so. Some nice greasy cheese. These have been sitting for about 30 minutes now, and I can tell you my shop has never smelled more horrible. The first thing I'm going to do is take a rag and just wipe the majority of this junk off each piece of wood. Just disgusting. Now I'll take a warm, damp microfiber towel and just make sure I have all the extra stuff off there. And then I'll dry it with a clean, dry microfiber towel. One thing I can already tell is that the two pieces that don't have ceramic coating on them still just feel a little bit damp. I'm sure they'll dry up just fine and they'll look great. The ones with the ceramic coating, they're just super smooth and slick still. It's just pretty incredible. They feel perfectly dry. I'll be the first to admit, I way underestimated all of these finishes. After the water test, after putting all the ingredients on here and letting it sit for 30 or 45 minutes, there wasn't a mark on any one of these boards. They all held up fantastic. Because of that, I decided to recreate the test. This time, I just went with the lemon juice, the ketchup, the flaming hot Mountain Dew, because I can't get rid of it. And now this has been sitting for 24 hours straight. I'll go ahead and wipe all of this stuff clean and see if we did any damage this time. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. Even after letting these set for 24 hours, there's hardly a mark on any of these. I really don't know if I can even get it to show up. The ones that only had oil, they do show a little bit more wear and tear after that test than the ones with ceramic coating. And where the lemon juice was in particular, I can actually feel where the grain is raised up a little bit more than the ones with the ceramic coating. The ones with the ceramic coating, they still feel nice and slick and smooth. It's pretty incredible. 
One other thing I'm noticing is the ones with the Rubio finishes. I can actually see the differences in the sheen a little bit more than I can with the ones with the Black Forest Wood Company finishes. There could be a couple of reasons for this. One, when I initially put the Rubio on these blocks of wood, it looked like Rubio actually bumped up the sheen a little bit better than the initial coating of oil with the Black Forest Wood Company. Two, the Black Forest Wood Company is a complete system. It's an oil with their ceramic coatings, so it might actually just work better because it's their complete system, where over here, I'm applying a ceramic coating on top of Rubio, which is another product. Next, we're gonna do a scratch test. For the scratch test, we're gonna start out with some regular keys, so if you're making a sofa table or something, you might come in and throw your keys on it. We're going to rub a coffee cup along the, the top of these. If, you know, you're drinking your morning coffee and I've got some silverware because we build a lot of tables here. So I want to see if the silverware nicks up these blocks of wood. And today, for the first time ever in the shop, we're going to have some special guests. Lucy, our one-year-old Newfoundland on the left, and Bailey, our three-year-old Bernie's Mountain Dog on the right. And we're going to see if their paws scratch any of this wood up too. Okay, we got some pretty good results after the scratch test. First thing to note, anywhere where these blocks of wood were hit with keys or silverware or anything else, they did get dinged up. There are some dents in the wood. I think that's what you would expect, it's wood. So the ceramic isn't gonna keep you from denting or dinging up the wood. There's definitely some of that in there. However, the big difference is the scratch resistance and this is really where the ceramic shines. The pieces that did not have the ceramic, you can actually see some of the lines and scratches and the pieces with the ceramic it's hard to find the lines or scratches in the wood. All throughout this experiment, I've noticed how smooth and slick the ceramic coating makes the wood. It just glides off the top. It really does a great job with that. And once again, if I had to judge on this, I would say that the Rubio and the Black Forest base coat finished pieces with the ceramic coating pretty much were a tie in this test. It, it's pretty much neck and neck with just the oil finishes only. They took their lumps, but you can just see more of the actual scratches in the wood than you can with the ones with ceramic coating. All right, so what can we conclude from this experiment? First of all, if you like to use Rubio and it's something that you're comfortable with and you're not comfortable with switching to the Black Forest Wood Company oil, then you can definitely just keep on plugging along with Rubio. It's a great finish. And the Black Forest Wood Company oil is also a good option if that's something you want to use. However, if you really want to take the durability up a notch, especially when it comes to some more of the acidic foods and the scratch resistance, then adding the Black Forest Wood Company ceramics to either one of these products as a top coat is a great option. Rubio has other color options for their coating, so it was really cool to see that this ceramic coating holds up very, very well on top of Rubio because that opens the door for you to use other colors like cotton white or some of the other colors that Rubio offers because Black Forest Wood Company only offers their furniture oil in one color. If you want the best overall package, using the Black Forest Wood Company oil along with their ceramic coatings as a system definitely is going to give you the most durable, high quality finish that you can ask for. Overall, I think there's a lot of value in adding some sort of ceramic coating to the top of your piece if it's a piece that's going to take a lot of everyday abuse, like a kitchen table. That being said, if you want the overall best protection for your wood, I recommend just using all Black Force Wood Company products. I don't know if it's just because their products are made to work together, but it does seem to work just a little bit better than simply just putting the ceramic coatings on top of Rubio. That being said, if Rubio is what you're comfortable with or you need a different color, this ceramic coating works great with it as well. Check me out on my new Instagram page. And if you want to see another video that YouTube is absolutely sure you're going to love, click it right here. It'll be on the screen. Thanks for watching.